Holy shit, what was that? Whoa, whoa, this guy is fucking fast, holy shit. Oh yes! Oh, I love it. No, 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 no! Alright, here we are again. If I remember rightly, I think I read that this boss is literally supposed to teach you how to parry. Like, his, like, he's all about coming at you, and then you got to parry him. Shit. I don't have many, uh, bullets, so... Crap. 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 I see my blood, I see my blood, I see Ah! 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 <laughs> My god, this guy is fast. I gotta learn when I gotta learn when to shit shit shit. Yeah, there you go. Fuck. Fuck. Jeez Louise, man, this guy is nuts. I gotta learn when to go at him. Nice try. Now. That's the one. I love that you can get health back uh, from like attacking them. Oh, he's gone. He's gone double. He's going double too. Four. Oh shit! Oh my god! Whoa! 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 Oh, no! Oh no! 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 Oh boy. Well, I got I I kind of I get I get the boss now. I understand the boss now. <laughs> oh wow. That was cool though. Wow. That's uh that's nuts. All right. All right, so here's something I've learned, is that you need to be kind of spa sparing when it comes to the uh, usage of quick the quicksilver bullets. I think I got a little uh, haphazard with them and now I'm paying the price. Here we go. Yeah! There's some Cali Marsh shit right there. What's that gun out of nowhere when he's dual wielding? That surprises me. No! Shit, 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 shit. Come, 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 come! No. Oh my god, stop that. Damn, man. That is really hard to time that right. Uh. Oh, what is he doing? What the shit? Uh. Oh, he's gone beast mode. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Oh shit. Yes! Oh my gosh. 
Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, I couldn't move! No! Damn it, man. God damn, that is hard. Wow. Probably made harder by the fact that I'm probably not supposed to be fighting him right now. Did I even get back my blood echoes then? I have no idea. I don't even remember. I was fighting so hard then, I don't even know if I got them back. Alrighty then, here we go again. Let's see. Oh god. Not a good start. There you go. Ah, shit. Okay, I lost my blood echoes. Fuck, I lost a lot of, lost a lot of blood then. Crap, oh well. So, uh, after finding out that I, uh... I lost all my blood echoes from that. Um, I think what I'm going to choose to do instead is I'm going to run around town, uh, get a a bunch of blood echoes, and then level up a bit. <laughs> um, hopefully, I'll find some quicksilver in the meantime. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to take a I'm, I'm going to take a break from recording here. I'm just going to do that, and then when I come back. Uh, we'll level up together. Okay. It's a shame I... Uh, it's a shame I, I didn't realize I hadn't picked them up that fight, that long fight I had. Which is when I lost them. I just, I just totally forgot about them. It doesn't matter. That is how Souls games works. That's how Souls games work. You, uh, if you get mad at just because I lose stuff, then you'll never get anywhere. Anyway, I do, I love the challenge. Loving this game so far. I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself a little bit stronger and uh, I will come back to you when I'm done. See you then. Alright, so got something right every time I come back in. Alrighty then, okay. So obviously I've actually taken a bit of a break since now. It's been about a day since I played this late last. God, you look so badass. You really do. So, uh, last time we, uh, obviously, I've, just before I cut away, I said I was going to go level, I was going to get a bunch of souls, so I did. Before I went to bed, I just sat on my sofa and I ran around the area and killed everyone and got a bunch of souls. That's what I got. I only did one sick, I didn't want to get too much. So, uh, then I came here and then there was this on the floor, so here we are. What is this gift on the floor? Consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist the cooperation of hunters from other worlds. Okay. <laughs> Silence blank ends such forms of cooperation. Silencing blank. Okay. Ends such forms of cooperation. So I, I use up insight when I... Is that what happens? I use up insight when I do it? And there's a link to the resonate... Oh, of course, like a gun. It's a link to the... By the resonance of bells of special encoded timbers. This inaudible burst disrupts such resonance. Fire to end cooperation, prevent further cooperation. Firing this does not disrupt the resonance of a sinister bell. That must be, this must be the, uh, the co-op and in, in, in infiltration of other worlds. It's a lot easier to do co-op in this, actually. Um, I mean, Pyro was saying we might we want to do a little bit of dipping around together. Uh, I don't know if this will be part of my main series. I might make a separate character for that. Uh, I might just do like a little side thing. I'm dipping around with Pyro. I don't know. We'll see how I feel about that. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. I wouldn't mind having a, having a play around with him. Great old bell discovered in the underground labyrinth. Its ring, uh, its ring resonates across worlds, and the hunter used first. U the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters from other worlds across the gap, and cooperate. Hooray! A human must use insight uh, to ring this uncanny bell, but the benefits of cross-world cooperation are many. Glad, I'm glad. Okay, and I'm glad. I'm glad, 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 glad. That hat is the best. <laughs> Much better than the bandages. The bandages look creepy, man. Love it. Did I read these? 
I don't think I read the stuff here. I didn't read like my information here. It's because you have this foreign origin. It said after all the traveler came to Yaman from afar, without memory who will ever know. And just worn upon wakening the might of blood and beast, terribly worn and unsanitary. A faint memory recalls blood ministration involved in the transition of unknown blood. Transfusion of unknown This is where all the lore of the game comes in, basically, is in item description and stuff like that. Clothing worn upon awakening the nightmare of blood and beast. Not typically clothing for Yaman, perhaps. It is a far foreign origin. It is said, after all, the traveler came to Yaman from afar. I don't remember who ever know. We have to stay outside and travel the covenant. Right, let's have a look at these. Let's try this. Ludwig, the first hunter of the healing church, once recruited Yanaramites. Yanan. Yananamites? Yananamites? Sounds like someone's. Sounds like a YouTube clan. The Yanaramites. Alright, my Yanaramites, let's go in, everybody! The hunter's attire was made for new recruits and has excellent straightforward defense. This is not nearly enough, though, to allow an ordinary man to stand any real chance against the beasts. That's all the same. Okay. Alright. Our thoughts from that. I went back to the beginning when I was running around and I talked. I went to the where the door we first opened, we went to when we came out of when we woke up and it was closed and this this woman just gave me this. It wasn't anything like big or anything important. She said there were like patients in there that needed protecting. Uh, but yeah. All right, so I've got all this stuff, so I'm gonna level up now. Ah, welcome home, good hunter. I must have drifted off. Quiet. What is it you desire? I would like to channel blood echoes. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Seriously, is the same voice actor from Demon Souls. This game has so much more in common with Demon Souls. I feel. Uh, even the like, even the layout of this reminds of Demon Souls. Right, so we can now finally level up. What do we want to level up? That is the question. So let's put a little bit into arcane. Um, obviously, we're going to put some into strength and skill. Some just endurance. I'm not going for any particular build in this. I'm probably going to go for a kind of a bit of an all around sort of dude. Don't really know what this is about. Oh, that's the power of weapons that use pixel bullets. Okay. Okay. And yeah. So if I don't have these fill, I basically I can't use certain weapons. So and definitely going to put them into health. It's always very useful. So that's all I can do there. I think that's okay. Nice. Farewell, good. May you find you. May you find your worth in the waking world. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Right. Workshop. Let us fortify our weapons. Yeah, I feel like upgrading that was a waste. It doesn't seem it's ever going to be as powerful, basically. I don't know. We shall find out, shan't we? Hey. It's very good, yeah? It's very good. It's very good. Alright, yeah, let's upgrade it. Use my stone shards. Use them all up, get it a bit stronger. Maybe it'll help us out against uh, that absolute nightmare of a boss that we came up against. Uh, so, speaking of which, I'm a little bit torn now between. What do I want to do? Do I want to go back to the boss, or do I want to have a look at some of the areas that I haven't quite finished looking at? Uh, there was that area that was um, that secret area that we found uh, before. You know the one. Ah, it looked like it went down into like a sewers, which I think I know where that links to now as well. I'm pretty sure I know where that links to. Uh, where we were, where that pit was, where all those dudes were climbing around, going, Ooh. you know, the guys with no legs. There was an area with items above us. I'm pretty sure that's where that shortcut goes to. So, I want to go there. So, items are there. There was this ladder before the boss that we fought. Um, so, that's, that's something else I want to check out. Then, there was... Uh, God, those hats really make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Also, I think I may have stopped that random stuttering. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to see when I play it back. 
I'm a bit my my vo I noticed the volume in the game could get a little bit high last time. Um so I don't know. We'll uh I'll be playing around with it a lot. So we'll see. I don't want to be too quiet obviously, but I don't want to be too loud cuz obviously my voice is important. I also went and got all these quick silver bullets when I was playing around before. Made sure I had plenty of those. Alright, where do we want to go? That is the question here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... You know what? Let's... Right, before we fight that dude again. Before we fight that dude again. Let's... Let's... Let's clear out the rest of this area. There's also that other place we could have gone to. Where I'm pretty sure there's, a devil, there's another boss. Where's this dude? There he is. <laughs> Die. A good place to get quick silver bullets, by the way, is this wheelchair dude. I killed him before and he gave me like four. Yeah, four again. Sweet. So that's uh that's that's probably gonna be my source of quick silver bullets. Um, there was also this area up here that I never finished checking out. The walls, if you remember rightly. There they are. Actually, there's a whole area. I don't remember most of this of this place. Oh, this is the area where you can skip the walls, isn't it? Right, okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh man, they have a lot of health. Oh my god, in the face! Oh, that really finished him off, didn't it? I gotta kill that other one now. Shit. I need to kill that one. There we go, right. Now we can focus on this guy. Come at me, bro. Oh damn, I messed my chance. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Going at them after you've been hit is a really like this game really uh promotes like active being like really aggressive. The fact that you can heal up after like taking damage by attacking fast enough back. Shit, that was fuck me, that was fat. that was close. Holy shit, that was really close. You can get like health back in the sh after the short period after you've attacked, after you've been hit, because there's a little like faded bar. Really like, it's like, no dude, you should be attacking, man. That was close, I must die then. Right, so yeah, this, this, this area I haven't explored properly yet. I don't want to start like etching into new areas before finishing off other ones though. Which is kind of why I want to go back and fight that guy. So... Oh shit, where am I going? Where am I going? I have no idea where I'm going now. Oh, I know where I am. Stupid gun guy. I already dislike the gun guys in this. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll I will come back to you when I've decided what it is I'm gonna do. Okay. Whoa! Fuck! What the shit did that guy come from? Hey, look! I found a window. Keep <laughs> telling me your request, and I will consider it while I eat bread. Of course. I'm good. Really? Oh, thank you. My, 
Mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music book. It plays one of Daddy's favourite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, she plays for him so he remembers. Mum says Billy can hang off without it. She's probably dead. Helen is stuck. Mum knows I'm really, I won't be afraid. Three points ahead. Yeah, Mum is dead. <laughs> I don't remember seeing anyone like that, though. So those windows can be talked to as well? Shit, okay. I probably missed some stuff, though. But I didn't know that. Mm, okay, right. Well, we'll have a look from um, while we travel around, trying to work out where the hell we need to go next.